John Kay, Greens MP, good morning to you. Good morning, Robbie. OK, take us through, the, uh, I guess, the, the background to this information that's finally been revealed. What we've got now in the public domain after seven weeks of fairly intensive struggle and parliamentary manoeuvring is the document which shows that the, the casino regulator in New South Wales was deeply concerned about the risk of corruption, organised crime and particularly the, the Chinese triads making entry into New South Wales via the Barangaroo Casino. The specific concern raised in the provisions that were laid down by ILGA, the Independent Liquor and Gaming Authority, was that James Packer's business partner, Lawrence Ho, is the son of a man called Stanley Ho, a very unusual character. He's the father of the modern casino, but he's also effectively banned from every casino jurisdiction most of the casino jurisdictions in the world apart from Macau where he's kind of the, the kingpin. Right. So wh why is, is he banned from casinos around the world? Well, there's a, there's a fascinating report by the New Jersey regulator in 2009 that draws direct lines between him, junket operators and the triads, the, the Chinese organised crime. Uh, also, to a, interestingly enough, to a North Korean casino. It's bizarre that there's a casino in North Korea, but he has links to that, to links to money laundering, uh, links to uh, organised crime operations in drugs. So uh, has this all been? This has all been established, has it? Well, it's. it's or are it's, these just allegations? It was enough for the New Jersey regulator to say that uh, MGM Mirage, which was a casino operator in New Jersey, could not continue to operate that casino in New Jersey if it had a business relationship with Pansy Ho, who is, who is Stanley Ho's daughter. Stanley Ho has 17 children from four different wives. He's a complex man, mm. uh, and he has business relationships with some of those children. It was enough for the New Jersey regulator, whose report is now in the public domain, uh, to say that there can be no relationship between MGM Mirage, uh, who operated a casino in New Jersey, and uh, Pansy Ho right. uh, in, a, in a casino in Macau. Uh, so so the, ga the gaming and liquor authority here was concerned that there, there might be a connection between James Packer and Stanley Ho for this particular casino here in Sydney? Well, they've tried to put in place a series of mechanisms which they kept secret, and, and that was what the battle over the last seven weeks has been about, right. that supposed, supposedly creates mechanisms to stop uh, Stanley Ho getting influence, Stanley Ho or his deemed close associates getting influence here in New South Wales via the, the business partnership of James Packer and Lawrence Ho through a company called Melco Crown. And do, they, and do they feel comfortable that he's not going to have any influence? Well, I, can't, I, don't, I don't know. They were very keen that I not get these documents into the public domain. They fought very hard, as did Crown itself. To Why? Stop. Well, that you'd have to ask them. I mean, I, I can only presume that it was embarrassing for the Baird government to admit that there were substantial corruption risks that they were trying to manage. I imagine Crown doesn't want the business reputational damage associated with it, with uh, being constrained in this way by the uh, Liquor and Gaming Authority. Uh, I, my personal view, my strong view, and the view of my party is that the, these documents should be in the public domain. There should be an open... Uh, and transparent discussion about how we're going to keep corruption out of the second casino here in Sydney. All right, well, that discussion is starting today with, of course, the, uh, the revelations of, uh, of those previously redacted uh, documents. John Kay, thanks for your time this morning. Thanks, Robbie. Uh, John Kay, their Greens MP, on this yeah, information that uh, has finally come to light after it being suppressed for quite a while. Heading up to 7 o'clock, the news for you coming up after that.